Hi Capricorn, and this is your October 2019 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. This is me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, yes, Capricorn, let's see what's going on with you guys. Um, I feel that for the month of October, you are going to have that energy to want to make a an important decision in terms of your love life and relationships. Um, just a reminder, just to not confuse other people out there. This is a love reading, so the focus is going to be, you know, all about relationships. So even though you can see pentacles right there, or you know you might see different kind of cards on my table um just a reminder that how i do my readings is that it really depends on the focus and intent of what i wanted to ask and seek guidance on so if i say that it's about relationships and love um, how I'm going to interpret this is really more on love because believe it or not um, just because it has pentacles on it does not mean that there is no relation to to some form of love or what that would mean those kinds of things so yeah that is just a disclaimer because I've been getting a lot of new subscribers recently and I think they're gonna getting uh, some some of them are quite confused so yeah just to leave you guys out there anyways um like i was saying earlier i feel that this is the month wherein you are really going to be making decisions in in your love life and and it's not just a random decision i kind of feel that it's going to be a hard one something that you have been thinking about for quite a long time and you have been debating about it having some form of inner struggle inner conflict within yourselves you do have this five of wands um representing what's going on with you in the past so there is a possibility that you have argued or had some form of difficulties and falling out with a certain person in your life they could be distant right now maybe you guys are not together maybe you guys are you know don't have any form of communication or it's also possible that um, you guys are in communication the only reason why I'm saying that there is a possibility that you guys are not connected right now is because um, in the area of the other person and influences surrounding this energy we do have this you know three of wands and it's backed up by the six of diamonds which has a lot to do with distance and it's like a nervous type of energy wherein there's a lack of something wanting to move forward yet unable to do so it's also being clarified by the eternal love card and the card of reunion so this has a lot to do with some form of love a lover of some kind but I kind of feel that there is, you know, a high percentage that you're not connected with this person at this time. There is some form of distance between the two of you. And maybe it's because that you guys have different opinions and things. There has been a big fight, a big argument of some kind. There was some form of changes or... Um, instability in terms of your relationship with that person and recently you have been wanting to connect with that person or you are having some form of drive to maybe reach out or you know to come to them go to them that kind of thing um, the Knight of Swords has a very rush energy to it. But at the same time, it's very mental too. Being crossed over by the Two of Pentacles is like telling us that, you know, maybe there is some form of decision, you know. 
um, you are wanting to do something, but at the same time, you're somehow thinking if this is the right um, decision to make, what should I do? It's like you're debating upon yourself on what you should do about it. Should you reach out with this person or not? Those kinds of things. And this goes to say whether it's an ex-lover or not, I just kind of feel that whatever relationship you're in, the person that I'm connecting with, with this reading, the Capricorn person that I'm connecting with, whether this is you personally or what's going on with the other person. Because again, it can be vice versa. So, um, yeah. There is some form of, you know, um, having a yes or no. What should I do? Should I do a uh, type A or type B? What path should I take? There's a lot of questions um, surrounding this energy. And what is your foundation? What is driving you? Is you have this Emperor card along with the Faithfulness card. So I really think that this two cards somehow complement each other because I kind of feel that this is telling us that one way or another this these um this reading has a lot to do with some form of true love you know there is an energy of true love here maybe you really care about someone but you're not showing it um we have this emperor card I think I've mentioned this time and time again in my other readings in the past, you know, if you're my old subscriber, that at some point I really hate this card, the Emperor card, in terms of love readings. Because this is the type of person that cares for you, but will not necessarily show show it or do anything about it you know um i'm pretty sure you guys can see or maybe you cannot see it not really sure how it goes but the eyes of this emperor is like looking elsewhere it's like you know giving a vibe of being uncertain that kind of energy it's like this is the type of guy that deliberates decisions you know they are i would not say that they lack backbone or anything like that but it takes them such a huge amount of time before they make a decision you know despite the fact that we have this really impulsive energy because this is what's going on with them right now there is an urge of wanting to do something but at the core of them you know this is like their the their energy of thinking into the bigger picture on things if i do this what happens next are we going to be fighting again is there going to be some form of rejection how are we really going to move forward into the future those kinds of things or am i just wishing for the best but it's not really happening on a realistic level of things so you have the world card in your crowning energy and this is you know this is you wanting to change things hoping for change and um this is also an energy wherein you might be finding yourself wanting to open up opportunities wanting to open yourself self again opening up your heart opening up uh, maybe communication lines there is something that you wanted to be more open up open again that kind of energy so if things have been really bad in the past i kind of feel that this time i don't know maybe you are be becoming more open with different the opinion of others basically if you tried to um 
ignore what other people think, or you, you, you were close-minded in the past. Right now, maybe you are becoming more open-minded and seeing uh, what other people have been saying all those times. You know, there could be that kind of energy. In your near future, you do have the Hierophant card being um, clarified by the Thief and the Seven of um, Clover. So this is an area wherein you have learned your lessons and maybe you have learned them in a difficult manner. Or since this is the future card, it's something that, y you know, um, you will experience. And eventually, you know, you ha you are going to make a decision that is quite hard, but not really in a negative hard. But it's like you are becoming responsible with the things that you have done, and you do that kind of energy. So, um, yeah, there is just something that you have to accept. Um, you know, it's like whoever was right or wrong in the in this argument that I was picking up, there is a learning experience in that, and you are not regretting the experience. You're not regretting the mistakes. You're not regretting the fact that the two of you have um have gone separated ways if that was the case it's like you are very accepting of what has happened and now you are willing to make a decision where that really goes am i going to move on move forward with my life thinking that um things did not work out and i can there's nothing really i can do about it those kinds of things. So I really don't know as well what decision you are going to make. Except the fact that I know you are going to make a decision. Whether it's about you wanting to reconcile and talk with this person again. Or whether you just try to move on. But you do have this three of pentacles along with this, the king of clubs and this is a very communication card and willing to to connect and communicate with someone work with someone that kind of energy and this is the energy you are vibrating in this reading so there is a willingness to talk you're more willing to listen you're wanting to talk that kind of energy and you have the willpower to do so the outcome card you have is the queen of swords along with the letter card so this could be a scenario wherein either you're the one who initiates contact or the other person contacts you so i really don't know how would that work i just know that it's either you are the one who is going to be receiving the message or you might be the one initiating it either way there is some form of decisions that you have to make some form of action some form of decision that you have to do to sort things out there could be, you know, uh, a spark of an idea because you do have this Knight of Swords. I kind of feel that, you know, you are feeling a lot of the energy that has been going on um, in the celestial skies to a point wherein it's forcing you to want to take action, want to do something. It's like, you know, there's something inside of you that is urging you or giving you a push to do something it could be to make a decision to connect with someone that kind of energy those kinds of things so ultimately it will create change 
with how you communicate with this person I just feel that this there is a sense of action being done action happening as well I did pull three cards Oracle cards just to give us more information or what you have to know in this scenario and you you got this this is your life purpose yeah I think the camera <laughs> is showing it differently so I'll just stop showing you the cards this is your life purpose and you have the ideas and inspiration ideas and inspiration and the you can do it card yeah you can do it card so whatever comes to you right now you are getting a green light the time of stagnation is over because i kind of feel that right now you're ready you're seeing things a lot clearer also i really noticed that you know you got a lot of very responsible cards here you got this um emperor card you have the world card and the hierophant card you also have the strength card so it makes me feel that you're about to do something you are about to initiate something for the most part i really think that this is gonna come fr from you so whether you you are about to tell someone else that you're ready to say goodbye or you're ready to cut the cords i don't know because the queen of swords can be quite harsh and the queen of swords is now ready to send a message so whatever message that you give to someone it leads to some form of victory for you okay this is something that you get to you experience the benefit of you have the last say on this so are you going to um to follow your heart to follow your heart and show what you truly feel for someone yeah are you gonna show what you truly feel for someone or what decision are you gonna make because the way that i see this you know you could be also battling your own ego because i really feel that if you are connected with this person i mean not connected but if you really love this person and you're willing to let them go for the sake of you know maybe you guys are not together have gotten out of touch or maybe you guys have some form of bigger problems um that is quite very complex those kinds of energy and you're just wanting to let it go and give up for whatever reason i kind of feel that that is a, such a waste because there is still so much possibility that can happen so again strength card is your hopes and fears and it also shows what can what are the opportunities that can present itself and what are the things that can hinder you so the fact that it is showing up with the strength card it could be that you will get the inner strength and power to take the risk to do something about it or you are going to feel the lack of it which makes you make a decision that is quite negative for your relationship situation it really depends okay but um again like i've mentioned earlier you're getting the green light this archangel michael card saying you can do it whatever it is that you have decided upon so what have you what you have been deliberating about there's going to be a final answer into that and all of that is going to be happening within the month of october 
you are going to make a decision out of that and you know by the end of the month maybe you are working into that or you're not confused anymore you are on a different path you have made the decision everything is gonna be, be clear and the next struggle that you are going to be facing on is on a different um different chapter different scenario different timeline i would say that kind of energy okay so um yeah but if you try to prolong this prolong making a decision you know i mean i don't know <laughs> what is gonna happen right there but for now i'm getting here that this is the right time you need to speak up you need to make the decision and to um, be a lot more honest and true to what you really want and what you really feel for someone and you know that fulfills what you feel um, as an individual that kind of energy as well so um yeah um this is my reading for you guys capricorn i do hope that this gives you insight and clarity into your situation um i hope that this has connected with some of you guys if it did i'd love to know your story i always love to hear your thoughts about this reading so um yeah thank you guys and if you'd like a more personal reading with me just go to my website in the stars by chrissy.com and you guys will find the services tab right there which can lead you to ordering a reading with me so um yeah without any further ado i'll see you guys again in my next video